Okay, here's the technique that I was trying to teach you today, but Zoom wouldn't let us do it. So I'll do it here, and you'll be able to hear it better. Take your thumb, put it on the fourth string, index finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string, ring finger on the first string. So you have, you have a digit on every string. Now, normally when we play four notes together, we play them all together. And so what will happen is your fingers and your thumb will come together like this, almost like, you're, almost like you're picking up something. So that's how you do it when you want to hear all four notes together. But there's also another way you can do it, and we call it rolling the chord. Uh, a fancier name for it is arpeggiating the chord, but most guitarists would just say you're rolling the chord. And to do that, you just do it in a smooth motion like this. So the thumb goes first, index, then the middle, and then the ring. But they don't feel like this. It doesn't feel like four separate movements. Instead, it feels like one smooth movement. And it takes some time to develop that, uh, so you're going to have to practice it. Uh, try to avoid doing something like this, uh, rolling your hand over like this. Some people, when they're learning how to do it, they do it like that. That's not the way you want to do it. Your hand should be very steady, and you just let the, the impulse just ripple right across from your thumb up to the ring finger. You can do it rather slowly, or you can do it a bit quicker. But the common idea, no matter how you do it, is it sounds like the notes are one at a time. Sometimes faster, sometimes slower, but it sounds, it sounds like you're doing this. It sounds like you're strumming uh, with your thumb or maybe strumming with the back of a fingernail. Instead, you're doing it with all four fingers. And that's a good thing to use when you're playing bagatelle. You'll notice uh, in my uh, recording that you'll find on uh, YouTube that I very often... You'll notice that I roll the chords. It's a very common thing that guitarists and even pianists or uh, harpists will do, that instead of just playing a block chord, they'll roll the chord. It sounds more expressive that way. So that's the technique. Don't be frustrated if you have trouble doing it at first, because it takes some practice. I remember when I first was learning how to do this years and years ago, and it was very frustrating until I got it. But if you hang in there, you'll get it. And we'll discuss that at our, our uh, next lesson. So go for it.